Danger. Danger. Uh, we're having a little trouble over here, but I can see the Alport now. Over. No, sorry. I meant airport, not Alport. Over. I said Alport syndrome. Over. Everything with this landing is going wrong. And it's reminding me a lot of Alport syndrome. Is that weird? Over? Alport syndrome is characterized by a mutation in type 4 collagen. And, you know, it's, it's moments like these. When your plane is going down, well, hopefully not. But you're reminded of what's really important in life. I mean, it, it seems like just yesterday you graduated college. And the word college really makes me think of the word collagen. You know, after college, you walked right out our door, and you started your own life. The word door makes me think of the word for. I always keep this picture next to me in case my plane ever goes down. College for collagen, door for four. A mutation in type four collagen. Over. Uh, Alport, we have a problem. There's another plane trying to land in front of us. It's a large, dominant, X-shaped plane. Over. Yes, you are correct. Alport syndrome is inherited in an X-linked dominant fashion, which I'm reminded of by this dominant X-fighter plane. But what does that have to do with landing? Honestly, I think it's going to be a problem. Over. Now let's move on to the pathophysiology of Alport syndrome. The defect in type 4 collagen leads to a defective basement membrane. And uh, now that I can see the landing strip, it looks a lot like a defective basement membrane. Man, I am not feeling good about this landing. Over. And I'm honestly having a lot of trouble seeing. There must be like a basement membrane in the lens capsule and retina. No wonder I can't see so well. Over. That's right. This defect can lead to cataracts, retinopathy, and lens dislocation. Really just a bunch of eye problems. Makes it really hard to land a plane. Over. And, uh, Alport, it's not just visual problems. I'm also having a lot of trouble hearing you. Over. No, no, there's, there's something wrong with this headset. It seems to be unplugged and sparking, which for some odd reason reminds me of the sensorineural deafness in Alport syndrome. The cochlea's basement membrane must also be affected. Man, can I, can I just catch a break? Over. But Alport, if you can still hear me, I have a quick question about the glowing set of wires under the dash. The glowing reminds me a lot of the glomerulus which is responsible for filtration in the kidney. <laughs> Get it? Glow, Marulus. And it's this weird red color and a bit warm to the touch. In fact, it makes me think of glomerular inflammation, specifically glomerulonephritis. The glomerular basement membrane is affected in Alport syndrome, which leads to glomerulonephritis. This is perhaps the most important finding of Alport syndrome, and patients can develop end-stage renal disease. Over. And speaking of the glomerular basement membrane, I'm all out of in-flight snacks. I'm a bit of a nervous eater, and I feel terrible about this landing. See my woven basket? It reminds me of the basket weave pattern, which is seen on electron microscopy of the glomerulus. That's right. The problems with the glomerular basement membrane can actually be visualized, and this basket weave pattern is highly characteristic of Alport syndrome. Over. Okay, now it's time for me to attempt a landing. But before I do, I have this weird burning desire to recap Alport Syndrome. It must be this airport. Anyway, Alport Syndrome is caused by a mutation in type 4 collagen, which is inherited in an X-linked dominant fashion. 
This collagen mutation leads to a defective basement membrane, which has downstream effects in the eye, ear, and kidney. This leads to visual problems, sensorineural deafness, and glomerulonephritis, respectively. On electron microscopy of the glomerular basement membrane, a key buzzword to know is basket weave appearance. It's definitely an image to know, and it may come up on test day. And with that, it's time to attempt one final landing. Over. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.